not long enough. No shit. Welcome back to Golden Sun. All right, we've looped all the way back. We got ourselves some new Jenny. Let's finally continue the main quest. All right, <laughs> back to Calais. What were we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we went back home and our mother scolded us, so it's just like, well, the hell with you, lady. Yeah. <laughs> Friggin' fine. I came back from a horrible desert, a man-eating ape, and you just, you, yeah, man. you just give me a chew out. To the hell with you. You weren't even really sick. You were faking it. <laughs> Boop. What's going on it's here? an angry mom. No, it's a tour. Oh, okay. So they're on their way to Colosso, which is the area that where we needed to be headed. They're just waiting for a ship. So we're going to hitch a ride on the boat. Hey, can we join your tour? <laughs> Keep together, folk. Keep together. Make sure no one's missing. <laughs> I appreciate that the chef has, like, a pan of food that he is <laughs> he's, still he's, cooking. Yeah, he's, he's still cooking it while he's waiting. It's just like, well, I mean, while we're waiting for everyone to get together, I, I guess I'll hungry. finish this omelet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's going to be a long boat ride. I figured I'd have some breakfast for everyone. Can't get a Colosso on an empty stomach. Hmm. We appear to be missing one. <laughs> We're short one person. Where could they be? <laughs> or is this just like, who cares? Let's go. <laughs> I was gonna say, AIS. 15 minutes. AIS. Ass in seat. <laughs> yep. Come on, you know the rules. Meanwhile, we're like, well, I mean, there's there's four of us, but whenever uh, we're walking, we all look like we're one. Yeah, we, we all join together. One. <laughs> we could be the missing link, or our link to the gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> so that guy with the red hair, who looks a little like Endeavor's younger brother. Yes. Um. He's afraid of water. <laughs> so he's just like, ah, oh, jeez. The only way to get Colosso is through ship. I hate the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, hey, that's the rules. They're not here. We can't miss the boat. Let's get going. We already paid for our tickets. <laughs> yeah. Sucks to suck. So yeah, we're going on without them. Everyone's in agreement. We're following the leader, the leader, Everybody the leader. Everybody grab the friendship rope. Wait, where do you see who's missing? Aw, where is everyone? <laughs> I don't even know where I am. Now where did my tour group get to? <laughs> Guess I live here now. No, they wouldn't have left without me, would they? Oh no, I'd better get moving. Do the hustle. Do, 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 do. <laughs> His little little walker just sprouts rollerblades. They will hear from my lawyer. The way they treat the elderly in Calais. <laughs> Alright, so now that that happens, we can actually go here to the port. <laughs> Garrett's like, wow, so this is the ocean. I've never seen an ocean. And this guy goes, Don't get too um, actually, it's surrounded by land, so it's technically a big-ass lake. <laughs> 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 I mean, if you think about it, the ocean is also surrounded by land. Shh. <laughs> Someday I want to see a real ocean, Isaac. They both nod at each other. It's just like, okay, we'll put that on the to-do list. God, I was watching this video by K-Bash, and like, he rips apart these games. But, like, the biggest one is how the plot will constantly be like, Oh, I want to see this place. And it's just like, don't we have a, a sense of urgency with the lighthouses? Yeah. It's like, oh, I want to go there and play some games. No, we need to get to a lighthouse because that's where the enemy's going. All right. What about here? And then we'll get some rest. No, lighthouses. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Satoros and Minardi is just like, and that's how we won, because the good guys are dumb. <laughs> yeah. I just picture them, like, getting... Aww. Aww. There's a little Ginny stuck behind the rock mound. <laughs> I just picture them, like, getting to a lighthouse, looking around, being like, well, I mean, wanna grab some lunch? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Who's Saturus and Minardi being like, well, shit, we were expecting a battle. Yeah. Uh, wanna, who's hungry? <laughs> they show up to the next one, like, with a full picnic basket. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't think these guys are taking it very seriously, but it is a beautiful view, so. <laughs> Could you imagine if we showed up at the Venus Lighthouse and, like, Saturus and Minardi are just eating sandwiches? Like, mm, hang they on. just have, like, a little romantic mm. picnic with <laughs> candles. And... I like how you imply that Saturus and Minardi are a couple. I never said that. You can have, like, a romantic picnic without being a couple. Aw. So true. So true. So Turos is Minardi's gay best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's so fabulous. All right. So right now everyone's just like, hey, how come the boat's not moving? And everyone's just like, boat better move. I paid for these tickets. And it's <laughs> just like, there's reports of sea monsters. We ain't moving. <laughs> My God damn it. <laughs> So, I like the concept, but, like, this is really played out to where, like, a lot of things are going to halt this trip from just get going. Yeah. And this is what I mean by padding. There's a good way to do it and a bad way. This one leans more towards the bad way, to where okay. it's just like, we're about to get started. Oh, wait, something else happened. It's just like, what now? Like, it really just drags on for a bit, if you want my honest opinion. I mean, I, I can kind of tell, um, I, again, you know, my qualms with like the dialogue, mm -hmm. it's just like, there's a lot of dialogue for a game that doesn't have voice acting, mm -hmm. um, which I get, it was a handheld game. Well, like, know. there's a lot of other games we play that didn't have voice acting, like Child of Light or, um, I Am Satsuna? Had a couple voices, but for the most part, I was didn't say, have there voice wasn't, acting. Like, a ton of dialogue in I Am Sitsuna. No, but it, like, it. I think what I'm getting at is for a game without voice acting or stuff like that, I feel like I Am Sitsuna has the nice amount of dialogue to where, like, you get the story, yeah. you get the characters, Whereas but there's also just kind of substantial like, gameplay. There, there Whereas is a, a good story... chunk of this game is talking. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a story here, and there's character development, and there's personality it just like it's too much for a game that doesn't have anyone to put that into it like he's like i'd rather be po bitten by poisonous spiders than sail across the sea and i'm just like i don't share that sentiment buddy it's <laughs> like well i'm glad you said that because guess what our third halt up is getting <laughs> <laughs> um but like that is the biggest like detriment of this game for me, yeah. is the amount of dialogue and the amount of dialogue that I think I called it circular. Yeah. Where like it just goes in it circles. Says to where it again like, and again and again. Hey, and that's again what we're doing. Again. Is that what we're doing? Yes. Okay, that's what we're doing. Like it gives you choices, but no matter what you choose, the story's still gonna go the yeah. way it goes. I think that it was probably like an introductory to like having choices. Like you get the feeling that you get to choose even though you don't i feel like this game had choices just because at the time a lot of rpgs had choices yeah but like looking back especially when you play a lot of rpgs that don't have choices and decide instead i'll build our characters yeah that is a lot more lasting than what golden sun is trying to do like my favorite things about golden sun are its looks like, I think it looks really impressive for a Game Boy game. Yeah. Uh, I like the soundtrack. And um, visually, I like, like the battles and stuff like that. And the puzzles and stuff. But, like, the dialogue. Yeah. I think that's what just gets me. Is just It's way too much reading, I feel like, for this type of game. Yeah. And it's not reading to where, like, you feel like you're learning more about the lore. It's just, like... Yeah. Like, banter. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like for that type of dialogue, the bantering and the the joking and, like, the, the silly stuff, it really only translates well for me when there's actually someone saying it. And that makes sense. 
For me, there's a lot of RPGs that are like fairly dialogue heavy, not to this degree, but I still fall in love with the characters yeah. and the story. But no, I definitely see what you mean by like, especially Child of Light was very dialogue heavy. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I feel like it wasn't circular. No, it wasn't. But it also like but also, was a very Child linear, of Light peak, like, was a very acquired taste because it committed to everything's in rhyme. And you yeah. were either on board with that or, or you were just you were like, annoyed. this is annoying. Because I know so I many people cute. that's just like, I couldn't get into it because of the damn rhyming. And I'm just like, fair enough. But I fair also enough. can really appreciate that while they were dialoguing, there was no like, beep, 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 beep. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> See, I'm wondering if we should stream the Lost Age just so you could experience it in real time. All the you can turn it off. Like if it oh. really, if it really gets grating, you can turn off the. It's just a little quirk that the series has. Yeah, I just like. I'm like, if you can insert them going. Like, why wouldn't you just have someone read the lines? You, you, there was no technology for voice clips on the Game Boy. It sounded very... <laughs> it sounds like me when I get too excited on the microphone. Okay. <laughs> and I start blowing out the mic, and I'm just like, oops, sorry, guys. Like, I can never get that sweet spot of commentary. We Sometimes it happens. We have technology now. We have technology. Start smashing it with the micro... Start smashing the Game Boy with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, stop. So yeah, now we can't leave until the captain has his good luck charm. He's just like, all right, so Isaac volunteers to take on, Isaac and his party volunteers to take on the monsters. Surprise, surprise. See, I think if I was a passenger on this ship, I would be like, I don't feel very safe. This seems very unorganized. They don't feel safe. Like, that's what those two are arguing right yeah. now. It's just like, what's going on here? Like, you want me to fight the monsters? See, he's just like, what's the fuss? <laughs> Like you don't know where. But they your paid good luck a lot of money, is. and this is the only ship they can get to make it to the tournament in time. Oh. So it's just like fuck. Here we go. It's like trying to get to like Disney World or a big event, and mm -hmm. this is the only avenue to make it in time for the big event. So like everyone's disgruntled, everyone's stressed, and Isaac and party is just like, uh, we'll, we'll try to ease some stress because we have synergy. Da 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 da. So yeah, so he hid the, the um, amulet on top of the mast. Why? Because he just doesn't want to go. He's afraid of sea monsters. So he's purposely prolonging the expedition. So you have a lot of conflict here to where like the captain's like, I'm not leaving without this crest. His first mate or just one of his members is just like, I know he's not gonna leave without the crest, so I'll hide the crest. And then you got all the other people just like, are we leaving or what? And like, as like a show or something in like a show format, it's kind of comical yeah. that like everything keeps delaying and our characters, sorry, we have immense, <laughs> I mean immense. A, like a lot of road work, road right, work outside happening our house. right outside the door. So I apologize I for just, that. I guess that was a sound I hadn't heard yet. <laughs> well, that's new. All right. So there we go. We gave him back the trinket. Now we can set sail. All right, so now we can set sail. <laughs> what now? What's the problem this time? I'll be coming that character. <laughs> sea is thick with monsters. With a CK. <laughs> <laughs> so now we need some oarsmen. Someone to help. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got to protect the oarsmen. So it's not enough that we volunteered, hey, if trouble happens, we got your back. We're going to join forces with the crew to make sure the oarsmen don't get attacked. Bruh. So we got a fun little gimmick that some people like. I am not one of them. To where gradually we're going to have our oarsmen get exhausted. And we have to volunteer someone on the ship to replace the oarsman to get the ship hey, rowing again. <laughs> you can choose the grandma. And yes. she'll be like, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> uh, uh. 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> the cook, he's still flipping eggs with one hand. You could ask one of the maid, and she's just like, absurd to ask a woman to do this. And I'd be like, equality, bitch, get in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you could help, too. <laughs> yeah, sure, you want to know my name? My name's Isaac. <sighs> Keep in mind, all this time, the ship has not <laughs> left it's port yet. Not doing shit. Word to the wise, if we ever make a game with a ship segment, don't fucking do this. Yeah. <laughs> don't do this to our players. Because, like, there is the nostalgia element that most people can, like, look past and be like, it was my first Game Boy game. Yeah. We don't have that excuse. Yeah. So people are going to come down hard if we do something similar to that. It's very common in an RPG to circle back to be like, oh, hey, we need that play. That thing from that place. Yeah. Gotta go back there. But there is a method to which to do it, and this is not it. At least I don't think so. I just think, like, it would be nice if they were actually moving and then sorting through these issues of, like, okay, cool, like, we're not going to go until he has his trinket. You get him his trinket. And he's like, ah, you know, moving on. And they, mm -hmm. like, set sail. And then they're like, oh, no, like, our first monster. We should protect the oarsmen. Like, hang on. We're... <laughs> We're getting there. So yeah, now he's could, reassuring like, the like, oarsmen. Cut all of this shit out and do it while you're moving. <laughs> but that would lessen the runtime. And I mean, if you're gonna buy forty bucks for, I think forty bucks for a Game Boy Advance games, it gotta have a suitable runtime to be like, ah, an RPG, forty hours. And then you see where the forty hours went to, and it's just like, hmm. <laughs> 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 Too much talking, 8 out of 10. Too much water, 7 out of 10. <laughs> that was actually a review that people mocked to this day. So there was a Pokemon game that revolves around like a lot of sailing. And one of the game critics said, too much water, 7 out of 10. <laughs> and like to this day, it's mocked. It was just like, too much water, 7 out of 10. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man. I just like... It is interesting to like see... A game like this though because it is kind of learning like what we don't want to do yeah you know it's just like reading a book you don't like and it's like oh well this is what I don't want to do this is a phrase that you've said that I'm going to borrow for a second this game and even going on to its sequel has good pose yeah but like a lot of fluff in between you could just trim out. Yeah. Which is a shame because this is one game split into two. Whereas you could trim a lot of this out and still make it one solid game. Yeah. <laughs> I feel. Granted, the Game Boy just didn't have the technology of what they wanted to do to yeah. make it one game. Because it's two stories. So it would be very jarring in the same game. Ah, here they come. Here come the monsters. Not two seconds after we set sail. They're just like, hey, shit's moving. Here we go. They're like, there's netting around the bay. We couldn't get past the netting. So every time there's monsters, every part of the ship is going to be like, there's monsters. Here we go. And then they're going to say, okay, we're all clear. We're all clear. We're all clear. And then the ship goes. And then the monsters come. And then this repeats about four times oh because there's four oarsmen. I do appreciate that the monsters just, like, jumped on the boat and went directly downstairs. Yeah! <laughs> At least they're fucking polite monsters, you Here's know? Here's the thing. Your duty is to protect the oarsmen. Why the fuck aren't you down there to begin with? I don't... Why do you go downstairs to be like, whoop, there's monsters. We anticipated this. But I just like that the monsters, like, got on the ship politely. They uh -huh. didn't hit anything at the top. You know, everyone that was on, on the deck of the ship, mm -hmm. they're just like, Good day, man. Good day. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. So, just to go be fuck clear, up shit under, under I know I'm now. super <laughs> negative in this episode, but that's because this is my least favorite part of the game. This game has a very rough middle. Like, the beginning's interesting because it introduces yeah. the characters and uh, Soul Sanctum and stuff like that. And then, like, as we get closer to, like, the desert and this part... Yeah. And, like, this was me going in blind. So I was just like, oh, I hate this. 
I hate this part. It picks up a little towards the end. Actually, it picks up a lot at the very end. Okay. But yeah, this is just... Every game has them. It's called that part. To where yeah. you look at it, it's just like, oh, I want to play this game again. And you can, you only remember the good parts. Yeah. And, and then, then you as you're playing, this. you get to that, that part, part. And you're yeah. just like, ah, that's why I don't replay this that often. Yeah. This is that part. Because now we just recruited another replacement oarsman. You brought an oarsman with you. There we go. You're going to row for us. See, I think the thing is, like, this would be a really interesting game to remake. You've said it multiple times, yeah. and I agree with you. This game is long overdue for a remake. Because, like, it's owned by Nintendo. Yeah. Like, Just like a reboot, you know? Like, it doesn't... Ship's course, clear. See, this is what's happening. Clear. All right, we're off. Why would you stop sailing? Row those oars, because we lost an oarsman, so they can't, they can't row. <laughs> they can still row. <laughs> but the whole thing would be off kilter, and it would sink. I don't know. I don't know how rowing works. They would just not be going straight. There we go. We're back on the trip. We'll be in Colosso in no time. Even the seagulls are happy. Whoop. Ah. I mean, that's kind of fun. Monsters. Goddamn birds. Monsters. And just to make it clear. Here they come. <laughs> Splish. Arg. Monsters. Monsters below deck. Hey, did you know that this ship the, is infested with monsters? The oarsmen are like, no shit! <laughs> they're being like, their eyes are being pecked out by pelicans. Like, you know I know what I'm I usually do um, clips of us in the intro, but I think in the intro, I'm going to do the line from Mission Impossible. You're out of line! And Tom Cruise goes, no shit! <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's monsters! No shit! <laughs> Uh, All right, Thor, clear out these monsters. And there we go, they're gone. Yeah. Do you like the oarsmen in the back? <laughs> they all they're like, like part of the battle background. Hey, are we okay? All right, you took care of the monsters. All clear. Ah, clear. shit, we're missing another oarsman. Oh, no, he's unconscious. Go find another oarsman. Where, do, where are they putting all the unconscious oarsmen? Uh. Just throw them in a pile by the <laughs> on the side. You know what's interesting? It's never addressed because when you finally leave port, everyone leaves and they're just like, worst trip ever. It's getting a one star on the fucking Yelp review. <laughs> but you never see the oarsmen. <laughs> they just throw them overboard. <laughs> you just like <laughs> leave the ship and then you see like some bodies floating like, away. Oh god. Like that scene in War of the Worlds where all the b bodies are just floating. Yeah. <laughs> as the lady's just trying to pee, and it's just like, ah, shit. <laughs> all right, you're going to row for us. Take your place. All right, you got to protect this area again, Isaac. Don't go upstairs. Immediately goes upstairs. <laughs> Isaac's like Wesker. No, no, stay. Walks over. Stay down there. Sit. Roll, like, Here we go. away. Ship's course, clear. All right, we're off. Do you love how they recycle the same scene every time you leave? Isn't it just invigorating? <laughs> I feel like my one eyeball just rolled away. <laughs> there it goes. It's off to find yours, man. <laughs> All righty. And we're sailing once again. Seagulls are back because the monsters have been cleared. All right, we're a little over halfway. Oh, there goes the seagulls. Monsters. Monsters. Arg. Do you think that they like shove each other down the stairs or they're like, all right, monster men, like single file, one at a time. Uh-huh, basically. <laughs> We're following the leader, the leader, the leader. 
All right, here we go, another batch of monsters. And most of these monsters are exclusive to this segment. Like we got the Virago and the Mana Wars. There was like a Lizard Chief. Yeah. I don't know what a Virago is, but it looks like a type of Harpy. It, yeah. It kind of looks like Chupacabra. <laughs> a wing, a wing Chupacabra. <laughs> All right, Chupi, feel the wrath of Neptune. You know, maybe I shouldn't have unleashed a water god on uh, water uh, monsters. Because yeah. I was like, wow, that was pitiful damage. Oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> no matter. They'll die soon. The last little jelly is like, um... On second thought, uh, enjoy your expedition. Screw you guys, I'm going... Ah! <laughs> yeah. I also very much appreciate that the unconscious one, I think they're just stacking them. <laughs> because, like, he's been there the entire time. <laughs> Pretty soon, it's just all of the people that are, like, on this trip or rowing the boat. They're like, I didn't go to fucking school for this. So, like... <laughs> go to a vacation, they said. Go to Colossa, they said. It'll be fun, they said. That's <laughs> that row in the boat. I'm putting this on my resume. See, you're asking a frail old man. You'll regret this when I collapse from exhaustion. Exhaustion. <laughs> exhaustion. I guess you could say this segment is exhausting. <laughs> All right, take your place. So, like, there's a specific order of which you can select oarsmen to sail to, like, a secret island. But the secret island is has monsters way too overleveled. And there's another means to get it to it closer to the end of the game. Uh, so, neat, but I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, we'll show you the island later towards the end of the game. It's really cool, but right now the monsters will just turn me into pulled pork. So... We're just <laughs> gonna yeah, belay that. Because the next monster that hits immediately, you're gonna see like in the middle of the ship where the pole is at. There's gonna be an unconscious oarsman like mm -hmm. before they even attack. Oh really? Okay. Ooh. Isaac. I didn't say the ship shouldn't be rocking this badly. Well, look at how they're fucking rowing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a huge sea monster on the ship. Okay, so we got a boss fight coming up. Oh, okay, so you may not see him. It's a grueling boss fight, so we're gonna save that for the next episode. But this boss fight is the highlight of this segment. It's like all this shit for a satisfying boss fight. All right. Well, okay. And we'll see what it is in the next episode. Do